Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Danko here again. How are you today? Okay, let's dive into step number 1B of citizenship to the New Jerusalem with God. Let there be, is God one or many? According to Mark 12, 29, the Lord God, our God is one Lord. And this is the first of all the commandments. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Please find these following verses in the Bible and heartily read it. Um, just read it by yourself. It's too long to write it down here. Um, please read Isaiah 43 verse 15, Isaiah 44 8, and then 1 Timothy uh, chapter 2 verse 5. Let us see what is the nature of God. Of course, God is a spirit. It's written in John chapter 4 verse 24. It says there, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in his spirit and in truth. Letter D, who is God? A, God is the creator of the heavens and the earth, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. B, the Lord God of Israel, 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 23. C, Jehovah, or Yahweh, Jeremiah 16, 21. D, the Word made flesh, John 1, 1, and John 1, 14. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Okay, and so on. And um, letter E, the child and son born in a manger. It's recorded in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, and Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us, a son was given, for unto us a child was born, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Prince of Peace, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. If God is the Savior, according to Luke chapter 2 verse 11, and also in Acts chapter 4 verse 12 and also in Titus 2.13 Peter G. He is the Father and the Son. This is established in John 10.30 which says, I and my Father are one. And um, in John 14 verse 8 to 9 also uh, letter H he is the Holy Spirit and this is also established in John chapter 14, verse 26 through 28. And we can read it also in John chapter 15. Letter E. He is the Father. If He is the Father, why is He also called the Son of God? What a very good question. Really, it is. Because if he is the Father, why is he also called the Son of God? Well, in John 4.24, uh, it is declared that God is a spirit. God is referred to as the Father here because he is the progenitor and origin of all things. The term Son of God refers not only due to the fact that the Holy Spirit was Jesus' Father, but also because he was the product of God's plan and mind of God from the beginning. God reconciled himself with humanity and forever settled the separation of man and God. See 1 Timothy 3.16, Colossians 2.9, uh, John 20.28. 20, 
literate how many persons are there in the Godhead? And the answer for that is there's only one. According to Hebrews 10.13 and also in Colossians 1.15 and also we can read it in Hebrews 1.3. Now what does Father, Son, and Holy Spirit mean? Are these three separate persons? No. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are not persons of God. There are manifestations and different ways by which God revealed Himself to uh, mankind according to specific times and purpose. He is the Father in creation, God who created the heavens and the earth, Father or Jehovah. He is also the Lord God, our Savior, Son of God, Jesus Christ. And He is also the Holy Spirit that is with us today. Genesis 1.1, Luke 2.11, Matthew 18.20, and Hebrews 13.8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And God bless you. And always take care. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.